Hello everyone, this is Ray Space. I've decided to make the Vega C for Kerbal Space Program 1.12. The Vega C rocket is from the European Space Agency and its first stage is shared with the boosters of the Ariane 6. It's a P120C booster and then it's got solid rocket motors on the second and third stage and then a little uh, hypergolic system on the fourth stage which is called AVUM or AVUM Plus, A-V-U-M and its capacity is about 2.4 tons to low earth orbit uh, but it's sort of nifty and I decided to make it. Uh, besides I'm probably going to do a rocket profile of it so I need a model and I, I didn't look to see whether other people had already made a model of the Vega C. I know there had been a Vega before but uh, I decided to make this one and it's a fairly lightweight model because they are solid rocket motors. I think this whole thing is just maybe five to six megabytes so yeah, I didn't try to make it very complicated, but I need to test it out. So that's what we're doing here. And then I'll tell you how to assemble it. It'll be part of my, come on here, my real rockets pack. And I'll link that in the video description once we verify that it works. So run Vega C. So I'm using KOS to control the rocket. A little bit of wiggle there. It's got a reasonably high thrust to weight ratio at the start. Uh, the thrust curves I'm not too sure about. I don't have any reference for the thrust curves for the Vega C. Uh, but they're probably within a couple of seconds. But because there is that variability and we don't want one stage crashing into another, the script is not timed. It's just told once the thrust is low, separate basically. So it'll stage based on how much thrust it sees that the stage has. Uh, I've seen the timings, but I'm, uh, I think these are maybe a couple of seconds off one way or another. So I'll try to work on that. The trajectory is a little bit interesting right now. We're going fairly steeply just to get out of the thick part of the atmosphere so it doesn't flip. And then it'll very quickly turn more horizontal once the dynamic pressure is lower and this is where it turns because of the dynamic pressure it's basically through max q so now it knows it can go away from the from the prograde vector uh, I know people want waterfall plumes for now because I mainly was working on the math and uh, making sure that it gets the performance it's supposed to because I'm gonna do a rocket profile I just copied the plumes from something else uh, rather than try to make it straight and that means that they're real plumes instead of waterfall plumes because I haven't made uh, SRB waterfall plumes and I think uh, somebody had linked a mod that tries to combine waterfall with other stuff to make fancier SRB plumes because waterfall SRB plumes aren't all that great in the first place uh, so yeah uh, I'll look into that but for now I just wanted the rocket <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, I do care about looks, but um, I just wanted the functionality first. So, I don't know. It seemed to have these things on the first stage, and I'm guessing that they're separation motors. That's how I interpreted them. I have no idea how it has roll control. Those might also be for roll control. I'm not sure. But I've interpreted them as separation motors, and they do provide some separation thrust when it goes off. the I'll show you, but the decouplers are separate from the boosters. So there's a bunch of parts here. The numbers are as good as I could get them, but again, because these are solid rocket boosters or solid, solid rocket motors, they have thrust curves, which means the thrust that they provide changes over time. And so I'm not too sure about that. That polygon was not supposed to be yellow. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Um, the stripes are actually supposed to get narrower as they go further to the top, the blue stripes. I uh, That would have been a big hassle. <laughs> Let me just put it that way. I'll think about that. That's a big hassle. I actually tried to get the logo on the fairing, but I accidentally had the Ariane 6 logo instead of the Ariane Space logo. And so I need to get the Ariane Space logo. So I didn't get that. On the... On the AVM stage, these are RCS thrusters for control. I did not give the AVM engine gimbling, so it needs those RCS thruster blocks. And maybe they control roll for the whole ride, as far as I know, but 
Uh, I mean, that's possible, but maybe there's some other system or there's RCS down below, like on the inner stage, on the first stage. Clearly, we are not controlling roll right now. If you really want to, though, uh, it is absolutely possible, because they are sticking out like that, to activate the RCS here and just press RCS there to help stabilize the roll. Shouldn't take too much. Based on the timings, it does stage... Uh, on the first stage decoupling, it ignites the second stage immediately. For the second stage decoupling, it separates the stage and then after a little bit of time, ignites. And then after a little bit of time after that, separates. Like this. So it separates the fairing only after the third stage ignites, which is a fair height. It should be about 130 kilometers. The payload right now is close to the limit. It's about 2.4 tons. And it's just av gas in this case. We are going to a polar orbit. Well, it's actually 96 degrees. It's sort of like attempting to do a sun synchronous orbit right now. So we're going north out of Kuru. Right now it's just being told to put it into a low orbit though. Normally sun synchronous orbits are like 600 kilometers or something like that. Here the script is pitching down because we do have a lot of time to wap waps this and we probably don't need it. The Avum stage is very long. 15 minutes potentially. But we're not going to need all of that just to do the first burn anyway. So, this is the little Avium stage engine. For the gimbling on the SRB stages, I just uh, had the thrust transform turn. I don't know whether they actually turn the nozzles, whether they inject something into the the SRB mix in order to control it. Well, this is a very long stage, so this warp time. This stage is capable of five ignitions altogether. It's a 2.4 kilonewton thruster. Actually, a 2.42 kilonewton thruster. With five ignitions, four remaining here. It does have high residuals because it's a pressure fed stage. At least that's the logic in realism overhaul. Okay, well, it got to 272 by, let's call it 240 for now. And it can certainly go higher than that if we wanted to, but I think it's demonstrated that at least it can get here. Trajectory optimization could also be a thing. Uh, but it's in orbit, it's got a fair load on it. And let's see how to assemble it in the VAB. Just type into the search field Vega or Vega C and there should be nine parts and I would generally start with the Avum stage. It's all very small. It's not a huge rocket. The fairing is rather large compared to the Avum stage. But anyway, on top of the Avum stage goes an adapter. So that's the payload adapter there. And then the fairings. There's the Zephyro decoupler. Oops. That's to decouple the third stage, so Zephyro 9 decoupler, and then Zephyro 9 third stage. It's like that. And then the Zephyro 40 decoupler. And then the Zephyro 40 second stage. I keep uh, double clutching that. Okay. So that's the second stage. And then this is the P120C decoupler. And then the P120C first stage. Okay, and that's that. That's the Vega C for you. Anyway, uh, one thing is, uh, sorry I didn't put all the flags here, but I figured that uh, considering the texture quality of the stage, I, I think they wouldn't come out particularly well. So I I'll see about that, but there's a lot of flags and they end up being very small and pixely. So that's why I didn't put them. Uh, other than that, anyway, the staging would normally have the fairings after the third stage ignites. So first stage, then decoupling, and second stage at the same time, decoupling, and then the third stage, and then the fairings, and then decoupling of the third stage, and then the AVM, and then the payload adapter. 
All right, so that's that for now. I'll link the real rockets pack with this included in the video description. Each rocket is in its own individual folder. Uh, just be careful in the case of Vulcan uh, slash and uh, New Glenn. Uh, I forget which one actually has the BE4 engine. And also the RL10C1 is shared between the Atlas V and Vulcan. So uh, when you're deleting those, you might accidentally get rid of uh, part of the other rocket. The other rockets included in the real rockets pack are Ariane 6, Atlas V, GSLV Mark III, uh, Nuri from uh, South Korea, uh, Launcher 1, Long March 3B, Long March 5, Neutron, New Glenn, Pegasus, Starship Super Heavy, though that's a very old version, Pegasus is better, or more accurate to what it is right now. If you want the more concept version, that's what's in there, and it's fairly lightweight. And the Vulcan rocket, though, Pekka has a better version of that. So, all right. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.